Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Nespresso Cities coffee espresso machine that is not pumping water. I'll be going over some easy fixes to try first in this very simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be going over five things that you can try out to hopefully fix your problem or issue if your Nespresso Cities or Nespresso Cities, depending on how you want to say it, is not pumping water properly or not pumping water at all. Let's get right into this video. So the first solution is very simple and it is to unplug it and plug it back in. At the end of the day, this is a modern device and issues happen with modern devices. It has technology in it and technology has issues that happen sometimes. So unplug it from the wall outlet and plug it back in and see if that fixes the problem. Sometimes just leaving it unplugged for like 30 seconds to a minute will give it a little reset and will fix virtually almost any problem that you encounter with a machine of this nature. Okay, that, if that doesn't work, you're gonna move on to number two, which is to angle it slightly to the left or slightly to the right. <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna do that with this machine because this machine is pumping water perfectly fine. But if your machine is not pumping water perfectly fine, you wanna take it and just tilt it to the left Tilt it to the right, just a few times. Not, don't rock it, but just tilt it slightly to the left and then slightly to the right a few times. Sometimes there's an air bubble that is caught in the machine's pipeline, and when you do that, you might release the air bubble, which will allow it to pump water more efficiently and to pump water at all if it's not pumping water at all, okay? Um, as you can see, even if I angle it to the left and to the right, the drops are gonna drop out of there, so whatever is sort of caught in the pipe is gonna move forward uh, throughout the pipeline, okay? So just try angling it or tilting it. If that doesn't work, Move on to number three, which is to inspect the bottom of the water tank. So here's the water tank back here. On the bottom of the water tank is a little spot, you can see right there with the red uh, little circle around it. Um, that's where the water goes into the machine. Now what you wanna do is remove the water tank and you wanna inspect two things. You wanna inspect the, the thing on the machine that sort of allows the water in and you wanna inspect the bottom of the water tank. I'll take the water tank off right now so you can see. So you wanna inspect that little piece at the bottom there and you also wanna inspect this part right over here at the bottom of the machine. You want to look for any dirt or debris or anything that might be caught in there or even a potential air bubble that you can see because all of those things will prevent it from pumping water properly. If that doesn't work, you're going to try out number four, which is to run a descaling cycle. Now, it's hard to run a descaling cycle if it's not pumping water properly or if it's not pumping water at all. If it's not pumping water properly, you can descale it because you can still get it to descale through the cycle. But if it's not pumping water at all, it's going to be very difficult for you to figure out how to do a descaling cycle. There are ways, but you're going to have to look that up yourself because that's a whole other tutorial, it's a whole other process. But try a descaling cycle if you can, because maybe it's just scale that is built up inside of the pipeline from hard water that is causing it to not be able to pump the water properly. Last but not least, if that doesn't work, you gotta move on to number five, which is take it to a repair shop, have them look at it. Now, sometimes they're gonna take apart the machine and it's gonna be one simple little thing, maybe, the pipe that's connected to the water pump has been disconnected. It can be something so simple like a clamp. So honestly, it's worth it to take it to a repair shop um, because you might find out that it might just be a very inexpensive, simple repair, um, or you might even be able to pay for a diagnostic where they tell you what's wrong with it, and then you can just fix it yourself, right? You know, my contractor had a problem with his Nespresso machine, and he took it apart, he did some research, and he figured out what was wrong, and he fixed it himself. Now, granted, he's a contractor, and he does lots of construction work, so he's very skilled in solving problems problems but you know at the end of the day if you put your mind to it you can probably solve the problem so number five is take it to a repair shop or do some more research because maybe you're gonna have to take this apart and obviously you only do it if you feel safe doing it and if you feel somewhat experienced you know only go to your comfort level when it comes to this kind of stuff and search you know do your research and do it sort of with caution and at your own risk and blah 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 just make sure you're safe when doing it that's what it comes down to and that's it if your Nespresso Cities is not pumping water those are some easy fixes to try first I've shown you sort of how to do them a little bit. I've told you for the most part how to do them. I've sort of explained them to the fullest degree that I can in this relatively short amount of time. And that's truly it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.